Hi Pisces, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate, don't worry about it, let it slide, check out your North Node, South Node, Rising, Moon, whatever, whatnot. Okay, I'm going to jump in. Okay, let's see what's going on. Right, okay. Let me scan. You're here, so I want to know what's going on with that. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go along with it because it could be in and out. So I'm just going to read it to see. So first card, this represents the Eight of Wands, which is mostly commonly known as communication. I don't really see it as communication. I see it more as a tower moment is either needed. Now you might say, how do I do a tower moment? Generally, when I explain things, tower moments happen because you have an aha moment of because of I'm teaching you the correct way of how to do the Twin Flame journey may sound vain i don't really care that's what i'm here to do to teach you how to do it which you are the teacher so you need to know this anyway i say it looks like a tower because of this card with all these zigzags and all that is the it's like an overall understanding of the dynamics of your journey of why you wasn't progressing on this is because you was not um understanding the total concept of the twin flame how to get to union with the rainbow here this represents mercury mercury is um to do with the twins to do the twins is gemini gemini is a lover's card stating like i said this is to do with someone having a tower moment because they was going along the twin flame twins gemini that's mercury represents the twin flame journey incorrectly mercury is also to do with um let me see third house you was listening to your family your perceptions of what your family your grounded soulmate really treating this like a soulmate i'll come around have dinner meet my family that kind of thing or my family ways of life is we do it that way that's what's going on here with this card here um but this is swiftly changing this is what this means fast communication it's not communication it's more like fast understanding which will push this forward um into the understanding that this is a twin flame it also represents um virgo which is the hermit which is hermit is the wisdom card so this is someone who's understanding the twin flame dynamics correctly i'm just going to check out what that means that's um sagittarius which is um what else is that um it's ninth house which is about um studying so you're studying the twin flame journey correctly which is good because you're understanding it's your love is this is someone who's like right i'm gonna go for it it's my love it's my twin flame which is this this card the dynamics i'm coming out of the box of the third dimension and going for the diamond the diamond is the gem the gem is normally the third eye the third eye is the insight the inner knowing the insight the inner knowing is the high priestess high priestess and insight goes to higher mind the higher mind the high priestess is twin flame which hence i said this card represents you are now learning how to get onto your twin flame journey by following the flame can you see this person is going along this flame these are like antennas pulling your person as one joint with you along towards your wish come true this is also representing third eye and healing you're healing this and going towards love two of cups two of cups this is two dolphins dolphins represent a different way of communication why i say no words needed because of it's not words they have a kind of 
communication among themselves. That's what twin flames are, inner knowing. Dolphins represent that within the card. It also the lotus, which most know the lotus, where if you don't, is in muddy waters. So do not watch what you perceive with the moon card represents um, deception. There's far more that you need to know. The deception is for you to not worry about that and focus on what? The love. The love is this energetic form that brings you the two of cups. This planet is the highest frequency is sex. Next to sex is love. Love is the most used frequency, let's say. So you're focusing on that more, which you need to focus on. They want me to pull out more going to planetaries. Okay, Cancer is um, fourth house, which is to represent with... Um, Ooh, might be relocating, moving, maybe for some of you, um, or something to do with property, maybe selling, or maybe moving towards your person, or something like that. Thinking about that is also to do with, um, yeah, your understanding your person is the hierophant. Um, I've already been over that with this card. No, I haven't. That was another reading, they're kind of similar. There's a lot going on the same. So I'll go, you're also Venus, love and harmony. So it's like a balance is coming on here. You're understanding that is your person is a hierophant because you're the high priestess. You're understanding the second house, which is to do with how people perceive you. Your sense of values is needs to come out. Your income, how you... Um, how you spend your pentacles, how you're supposed to save your pentacles, how it's going on silliness, all sorts of things is going on there. Also to do with justice, Libra. It's all to do with your thoughts instead of balancing out your emotions and how this is so. Justice card, Libra card is when it comes in here and this is the lover's card. There's no other way. This is so. This is a twin flame science. It's not a soulmate. If you don't do it this way, might as well not listen to the other way. <laughs> might as well end it. That's how a twin flame rolls. It's just the science of it. Now, this card, um, it's like, because it's underneath what I just said. So maybe you are putting beneath you because it's underneath it. You understand. I've got about the moon card in my playlist. Please check out the tarot playlist. It understands the, de it explains the details of the cards in what it is like for a twin flame uh, the moon card is far deeper look at this card look at this oh my gosh but this is a representation of what i've done on the basic level of what i could say it in uh, in my twin flame in, in my playlist so check that out but it's also to do like i said it's to do with balancing rooted belief systems and your perception of what is so if you carry on how you are you educate you carry on studying you go into my playlist you learn you book me i help you to go on further you join this community you engage with us you follow the playlist and do all the stuff that i suggest the center of this is success Taurus, once again, is to do with um, you. Uh, you will be successful if you understand. It's to do with the deception. Don't be stubborn. Be as knowing that the, the higher friends your person and stop watching what's going on in the background. That's the yin and yang. I won't go into the other elements. And like I said, this will blossom. This will be successful. The, like I said, the Taurus, be stuck on this stubborn bull don't take no shit you wouldn't go across a bull because you know it will charge at you but be stuck in your ways at the same time and don't watch any deception the deception is so that you understand it doesn't matter what you think is going on with the libra with the thoughts it's all about inner knowing you need to have the strength once again the moon card so this is someone who's worried about the deception why well they're over there what are they doing definitely with the moon coming up a lot in this reading for me you've got to put it beneath you that's the moon do you see the shadow this is dark in the background you need this the ninth which is the strength card you need to work on your shadow work you need to also understand my strength card so please check out the playlist because you're worried when you understand that, you will get to the four of wands, which once again, please check out my playlist if you want to know what the four of wands, but that's the one, 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 one. 
which is what you are to inflame so it's better that you understand exactly what that is you're going towards your star card which is your wish come true, which is uh, twin flame, which is your star seed. But you need to work on your shadow work by inner healing with this insight here by the sun. Inner healing, that's an insight, inner, high priestess, high referent, it's all higher mind, higher consciousness. But like I said, there's lots of moons here, like lots of worries. It's like you go forward and then, oh, but he's he's still doing drugs. Okay, I'll forget that. Then you go forward. Oh, but he's still living with her indoors. So you worry about that. Then you go forward. It's a reflection, see? You reflect onto your person. So you need to have a better understanding of this. What's that? That represents um, Saji. Saji is um, ninth house. Why? What are you? Yeah, this is confirming you need to study the moon card and the strength card why if not it won't work this is the works card this is virgo this represents the wisdom this represents the hermit card you need to get the wisdom the hermit card go within understand this journey if not this is how it works this is a pyramid the pyramid starts at the top the temple the top is your crown your third eye insight then it aligns and uh, all the energetic form within that pyramid spreads within so it starts from the temple then it goes within then you attract what's within your re from within to go without and that will pushes this will forward which is all about your emotions this represents the death card as well which if you don't understand it it won't progress i always heighten the death card there's other major arcanas but the death card is if you don't understand it you don't it, you may you might as well date a soulmate i know the sun card is major for example justice is major but it doesn't matter if you don't end what you're doing before I'm repeating, it won't go forward. It also represents the emperor. emperor. The emperor represents, to me, control. You're trying to control it third dimensional. That needs to end. That is the death of this. If not, you won't get your fortune. You need to have, once again, there's a tower moment here. Can you see the lightning strikes? The lightning strikes here. It's a tower moment coming. If not, I haven't given it to you. The tower moment is, if you don't end this, if you don't understand this dynamics, if you don't get the strength to stop focusing on the perception of lies, if you don't understand twin flame journey, there's a science to it. The science is energetic form, quantum physics. You attract what you are aligned within. Nothing to do with friends, family. If you don't study this, this won't begin. It's a full card. It won't begin. So it's kind of like, hopefully you understand this. This is for someone to, for, to learn how to do the journey. Um, so hopefully this was good for someone. And thanks for listening.